Well, from the Schaefer Center to Sports Center, Indiana Tech men's basketball getting some love not only across the Summit City, not only across the country, but across the entire globe. That's what happens when you become ESPN's number one play over the weekend. Here's the story of the Warriors' Grant Smith and his big time buzzer beater. Coach called a timeout, and there was like 1.5 seconds on the clock. And I just started running towards our bench, and I was like, I'm going to hit this, I'm going to hit this. I just kept saying it. Raj Stein with the football pass and the Smith. Smith goes up for three. Oh, and my and God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A junior from Connorsville, Indiana, Grant Smith's buzzer beater earning the Warriors a one-point win over Lords on Sunday. Number one, College Hoops, Indiana Tech. It also earned the number one play on ESPN's Sports Center. That's the best um, any college basketball player, any level of basketball player dreams of hitting the big shot. And um, just right after it went in, I couldn't even watch the video in the locker room after it was just, I had butterflies, it was exciting. Yeah, he told me that he was going to make it. Soon as soon as, <laughs> soon as uh, we called the timeout, Grant told me, he said, I'm making it, just get it there. And, and that's what we did, so. Thank you, thank When it left his hand, I called it. I knew that it looked good. We had executed it perfectly to that point, so I, I had a pretty good feeling, but the, still the initial shock of it is just, you know, like I said, everything has to work out perfectly, and I've been on both sides of that one, um, so certainly being on this side is, is a little bit more receptive for me personally. Uh, it was awesome uh, to go viral. It was pretty cool. Um, seeing it on Sports Center is definitely a dream, especially number one. My phone is still just nonstop blowing up, and it, it, it's a really good feeling. Good stuff for Indiana Tech. Their final regular season game Tuesday night on the road at Siena Heights. They'll then turn their attention to the WHAC tournament, which tips off on Thursday. That's